Hi everyone, so in the last video I had asked you guys if you wanted me to make a complete sheet for TCS as well and I received a lot of comment from you guys wanted me to make the sheet. I even received a lot of DM from you guys as well. So here I am with the complete sheet for TCS and QT preparation. For the last couple of days I've been working on this sheet. I've spent a lot of hours working on this so that you don't have to go out there, look for multiple resources, look for multiple articles. Everything is in here. So this is your one stop resource for cracking TCS and QT at the best profile available. Everything is in this sheet and I've worked very hard on this. I've put a lot of efforts into this. So I would really appreciate if you can like the video, subscribe to the channel and put a nice comment in the comment section. So now let's get into the sheet and let's see what everything is there. And not to mention that this sheet will continue to get updated. So every time there's an update in either the paper pattern or if there's any new thing, then I will be putting it in the sheet so you can bookmark the sheet. And don't skip ahead to the sheet. Watch this video till the end because I'm going to explain everything that is there in the sheet and how you can use it to your maximum advantage. All right. So here is the sheet. As you guys can see, this is the TCS and QT complete preparation sheet. All right. So what is there in TCS and QT? First, you have the written assessment, which is the first round. You have the foundation section, which is part A. So what is there in it? You have numerical ability. What are the most important topics in numerical abilities? That's what I've written first. So you have topics like percentage, ratios and proportions, speed, time and distance, work, basic math, profit and loss, things like that. These are the most important topics from which you can expect majority of the questions to be there. All right. Then I've written a tip that you should keep a notebook. Okay. And I've explained this further in the practice section. Keep a notebook where you practice aptitude. Okay. Keep a notebook where you keep the notes, where you keep the tricks and where you practice the question. Okay, so numerical ability, what is it? Numerical ability is basically the part of aptitude, which is mostly formula based. So you have multiple formulas. Look at speed, time and distance. You have just a bunch of formulas. Questions will be on there. Look at ratios and proportions. You just have formulas. You just have mathematics. All right. Look at profit and loss. Again, you just have formulas. So this section is completely formula based. All right. So these are the important topics. I'm going to explain to you how you can practice them. Okay. After that, you have reasoning ability. What is reasoning ability? Numerical ability is the formula based, the mathematical things, the arithmetic things. Reasoning ability is the topic of aptitude or the part of aptitude where you have multiple tricks involved. So the question might be related to bread relations. So you're looking at a picture and the person in the picture, you have to figure out how you relate it to the person, you know, and there might be some sequence given that he's related to your father's mother's this, this, and this, and you have to figure out who the person is. Okay. So this is reasoning ability where you have certain tricks. You have to use your brain to figure out a solution to a problem. This is reasoning ability. These are the topics that are important for that. You have blood relations, you have coding, decoding, where you have a code given, you have to decode it. Okay. You have uh, folding and folding, you have paper cuts where you have a paper. If you fold it, what shape will you get? Something like that. You have word patterns, you have statement and conclusion, you have directional sense, and you have data in interpretation and Venn diagram. These are the topics that are there for reasoning ability. Now, reasoning ability does not have a particular formula. What you have is you have certain tricks. Okay. If you look at blood relations, there's a trick. You can make a family tree. If you look at coding, decoding, there's a trick. Once you solve a certain pro amount of problems, you'll get that trick. So reasoning ability has tricks that you need to learn. So again, if you keep a notebook, you can write down those tricks. Okay. Again, more on that in the practice section. All right. After that, your verbal ability. Verbal ability is just a test of your English speaking skills, not speaking, but your English skills, basically. How good your grammar is, okay? So this is nothing too advanced. This is nothing too difficult. Verbal ability is probably the easiest of aptitude, okay? Because the grammar here is elementary level. The things we'll use to learn in school, nothing more than that. So you have sentence completion, you have spot the error, fill in the blanks, you know, the mentor name, paragraph jumbles, okay? So this is the easiest quant I feel is the more difficult than your reasoning and then your verbal ability. Okay. And these are the important topics. Now, main part, how do you practice? That is the main part. Okay. So like I've written, first thing, there's no amount of exact amount of questions. There's no magic numbers. A lot of people will say do hundred questions, do 200 questions, do this many questions. There's no such exact amount. Okay. What I suggest do as many as you feel confident in. Pick a topic, start solving questions. Do as many till you're able to solve the problem within a minute. Okay. That's how much you should do practice. Okay. How do you practice numerical ability? This is what you're going to do. 
First, you're going to go to this link. This link is indiabakes.com where you have quantitative aptitude. Okay. What they have is they have topic by topic. So click on a topic like speed, time and distance. First, note down the formulas. Okay. They'll have the formulas in India Bix. Note down the formulas. Do five to six problem to just have a like hang of it just to understand what you're doing there. Then once you do that, then you're going to solve these question set. Now, these question set are related to TCS. So you have first a link from test book where they have aptitude questions for TCS and QT. Then you have from placementpreparation.com, then you have prep and stuff. Then you have again from indiapix.com. So these are the best websites that I could find, which have an amazing question set that you can use for your practice. Okay. So here you'll also find previous year questions and you'll also find sample set questions. Once you do a lot of questions from here, you will be good to go for clearing the foundation quantitative aptitude. Then we come to the reasoning. Then we come to the reasoning ability. Again, follow the same pattern. I've given the link for reasoning ability of indiabix.com. Click in this link, go to that section, go topic by topic, the topics that I've explained, go topic by topic and solve seven to eight questions. I've asked you to solve more questions here because reasoning ability might be tricky. Quantitative, if you know the formula, if you know the concept, it is straightforward. Reasoning ability can be tricky for some people. So I've asked you to solve more questions here for practice. After you've done this bit, then you go into the problem set. Okay. So here again, I have a few problem set from prep Insta, then talent battle, then knockery.com and testbook. So these are the best question set that you can follow and do problems from. All right. Then coming to verbal ability, verbal ability is just based on grammar. So brush up basic grammar. What you can do, you can, you know, just go to any uh, book stalls where they have old books, you know, for 100 rupees or 200 rupees, get a book and read about it. Read it in your free time. Okay. Now, if you have a grammar book sitting at home, read it, read it in your free time. And more than like 50% of the tasks should be done from there only. Okay. Because it is grammar based, you know, like verbs, adjectives, prepositions, tenses, articles, things like that. Okay. So here there's no theory, just go straight to solving problems. Indiabix.com, this link is for verbal ability. Go there, start solving as many problems as you can. Verbal ability, there's no limit. You can solve problems in your free time also because you don't need a pen and paper. Okay. Then you can solve these sets. Again, we have sets from prep and star, talent battle, test book and knockery.com. The best sets that you can find. Okay. Then I have a couple of notes for you guys. You can read it. Okay. Once you're going through the sheet. Then we have the advanced section. Advanced section is basically for the digital and prime role. You know, the better roles available. If you don't do advanced section, you'll be stuck at Ninja. So advanced section, you have to focus on it. Okay. So the first part of advanced section is advanced quant and reasoning ability. There's no verbal here. So this is just aptitude on a difficult level, on a harder level. All right. So here you have advanced quant where you have these topics. So I have mentioned the most important topic with an underline, but I want you to do all the topics. Don't just focus on the underlying topics. Okay. Do all the topics, but these are the topics which are the most important. Okay. So there are things like probability, permutation and combination, geometry, mensuration, series and progression. Basically, these are the topics where you see a lot of people have difficulty also. Okay. Then you have advanced reasoning. They have these topics and the underlying topics are the most difficult topics. Okay. So the topics may be same, you know, if you go and the topics are written for the, uh, like, Numerical ability section here, you can also see your permutation, combination, profit, loss, interest. So topics might be similar, but the level of questions will be much more difficult in the advanced section. Okay. But again, practicing well enough will be good for you. Okay. So in advanced section aptitude part, what are you going to do? You've already learned the concepts. You've already learned the formulas. You've already learned the tricks. What do you need to do? Solve problems. So I have some amazing sets which are for the advanced section of TCS and QD. These question set are for the advanced part. So you have Geeks for Geeks, you have Prep Insta, and you have Talent Battle. These had some good difficult level questions. Once you practice from them, you'll get the hang of it. Okay. So you need to have a good hand in solving complex aptitude questions. And the time given here is also more. Okay. Because the questions are more difficult. After that, I've given some mocks. What are mocks? Mocks is just like you have a certain time limit. You have to like solve questions and you'll be getting a score at the end. So once you do the practice part, then jump to the mocks. Okay. You can give mocks and uh, some mocks are paid also that I've explained in the end, but these mocks are free. You can uh, just join them for free and give it. All right. Then we come to the coding section. 
Now the coding section is the most dreaded for you guys, I understand. And a lot of people are afraid of coding section and it is important, okay. Based on the coding section, it might decide what role you get, okay. If you do well in the, in the coding section, you can get the prime role which is having 9 LPA. If you do good in the coding section, you can get digital role which is 7 LPA. So coding section is very important for you guys. And it is not that difficult. If you're good at problem solving, if you do what I've written in the sheet, if you practice well enough, then it's going to be nothing for you. Okay, at all. All right. So first, what will be there in the coding section? Earlier, they used to have three questions. Now they only have two questions. Don't forget that. A lot of websites out there are still mentioning that they have three questions. That is not correct. They have two questions now. Okay. So first question is going to be easy medium. It is going to be a simple question based on an array, based on a string, or you'll have some basic arithmetic operation, some binary operation where you have two binary numbers. You have to do something with them. You'll have some recursive code you have to write you'll have some basic array or string question, okay? So, second question will be a little bit difficult. Mostly, it will be medium. In rare cases, it might be hard, okay? But generally, it will be easy or easy medium, okay? Here, you'll have some good array problems, okay? You'll have an array problem where you have to do some sort of searching. You'll have to use either binary search or you'll have to do some, type, some, some sort of sorting algorithm, things like that. Then you have string. String questions again, you can have something related to palindrome, you'll have something related to something like you have two strings, you have to convert one string into the other with some operations, things like that, or you might have something related to sliding window algorithm. So learn sliding window algorithm. Recently, they had asked sliding window algorithm in one of their coding tests. Then you have greedy algorithm, you can expect a question from greedy algorithm as well. Then if you have some difficult question, it might have two pointer. There might be something mathematical related to GCD or LCM, or you'll have some basic data searches like hash map, things like that. Okay. So these are the things or the important topics that you can expect questions to be from. But after you go through them, how do you practice? You know, that is the main part. So first thing in practicing, learn a programming language. Now, a lot of people keep coming to me daily and saying, what programming language should we learn? Should we go with Python? You can go with Python. Nothing wrong with that. But my suggestion to you always will be going with C++ or Java. My personal suggestion, if I was giving the test, I would choose C++. Okay. Now, once you learn the programming language, let's start from scratch. You learn the programming language, you master the syntax, learn the syntax very well. Okay. Master the syntax. After that, you learn the library. So if you're learning C++, be good with STL. If you're learning Java, be good with collections. Okay be good with some advanced STL things, be good with map, unordered map, hash set, set, things like that. Okay. Now, after that, if you're a complete beginner, you have not done problem solving at all before, I got you. There's this link where they have the most basic problems, coding problems that you can solve just to get the hang of it. Okay. So if you're a complete beginner, you've never done problem solving, you can solve problems from here just to get the hang of it. After that, do below sets. Now, these sets, are some may have some amazing coding questions if you're able to solve these coding questions easily easily within 20 25 minutes you'll be able to solve both of the problems in tcs and qt okay so i have a link from prep insta a couple of links from prep insta then take you forward striver also has a sheet for tcs and qt that is also good i've gone through that you can solve problems from there as well and then you have talent battle where they also have nqt advanced coding questions okay so this is how you can practice if you want more if you feel like, you know, you still want more things to practice, then I've given this course, which is from Geeks for Geeks. It is paid, but it's very cheap. Right now, it's at 300 rupees where you have 10 different tests, you have mocks, you have different things. So if you want key, this is not enough. You still want to practice more or you want some advanced resource, then you can take this course. It's just 300 rupees. Okay. And then the interview. Now. Once you go through the written section where you have the multiple things, aptitude, advanced aptitude, advanced coding, then you go to the interview. Okay. How do you prepare for the interview? Well, I have had two people on my channel, one from digital, one from prime, who have both cracked digital and prime role. They came on my channel. They explained their interview experience in details. They explained what was asked to them, how you can prepare how their NQT went, how their interview went, everything in details. So I'll highly suggest go watch those videos if you want to prepare for the interview. But generally the interview topics will be your resume. They will definitely ask you a lot of questions from your resume. Be good with it. Afterwards, project-based question. What projects did you make? If you made a React-based project, they'll be asking you questions on React. 
If you made Java based project, they'll be asking you projects on Java. If you have a machine learning project, they'll be asking you a lot of questions related to machine learning. Okay, then they can ask you certain things like your achievement. They can have HR questions because this is a combined interview. You have HR, you have technical, you have MR, everything is there together. Okay. And sometimes they even ask a DSA question. Okay. So if you see the prime video in that the person was asked a DSA question. Okay. Go watch that video. And after that, you might have some oops concept. They'll ask you some basic oops concept like the four pillars or some real life examples, things like that and machine learning and the latest buzzwords. Latest buzzwords is very important. They'll ask you the latest things like what is Gen AI? What is the latest LLM? What are the latest AI models out there? So read a bit about it, okay? And that's pretty much it. This is the entire sheet where you have everything. All you need to do, open the sheet, okay? Go click the link in the description, open the sheet, bookmark it, go and start solving the problems. All of the links are there, everything is there right from the like round one where you have the aptitude advanced aptitude coding all the way till interview everything is covered by this sheet and i'll regularly update this sheet to make sure that you don't miss out on any changes that are there which are happening in the tcs mqd process okay so that's pretty much it for now okay so you can access the sheet from the link link is in the description it will also be in the pinned comment so that's all Thank you guys for watching and do subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you.